What is up, Dodgers Nation? DMAC here. We have a special guest. You've seen her all over Twitter, all over Instagram, all over social media. She is the lucky one that caught Shohei Otani's first home run as a Dodger. Amber Roman is joining us here on Dodgers Dugout. Amber, first thing I want to ask you is just kind of describe the moment, detail by detail. You're in the right field pavilion. You're looking at Shohei Otani. Are you anticipating a home run in that moment? Um, hoping for one. Um, especially since he hadn't hit one and we were there, like, of course, who wanted to be, you know, in that presence. Um, but everything just happened really fast. Um, I'm pretty sure you've seen on social media, like I'm getting so much hate, you know, over, over what I did or what I cho chose to do. But I mean, at the end of the day, it was me who caught it. No one else was with me in the negotiation. So no one knows really what went down. So the people also starting to say like, oh, now I'm playing the victim because I, I'm seeing what I lost out on. At no point was my intention to get any kind of monetary value out of it. Um, the experience itself enough as a Dodger fan, like that, that meant so much more to me. Um, I do wish that we could have met him, uh, maybe taken a picture with him, um, but that was impossible. But I, I'm, I'm still very grateful for what they gave me. But as far as just kind of reading the ball off the bat, I mean, you see the ball coming towards you. Do you find it on the ground or just kind of how did you actually acquire the ball when it was that mad dash to get it? Were there, do you remember a lot of people kind of scrambling around it? Is the first time you ever caught a ball ever at a Dodger game? Yes, this is the first ball I've ever caught at, at a Dodger game. So it being that ball, you know, makes it that much more special. Um, but the ball was in the air, it was coming towards us and, Really didn't think that it was going to land anywhere near us. We've we've been in plenty of situations where, you know, it lands behind us or lands in front of us. Um, but my husband is actually the one who, who went for the ball. Um, and in the midst of, like, looking over at him and seeing him, you know, struggle with all these guys around him also trying to look for the ball, I look down and it's right by my foot. And I'm, I pick it up and then that's when I'm, like, putting it in the air. Like, oh, my God, I got the ball. Yeah, I saw you guys just going crazy. He's lift you in the air. First thing I want to yeah. know is how many people were blown up your phone just right in that moment? Were people noticing you already just from that yeah, original that, shot? That, that we know friends and family of ours that were at home watching the game. Like they saw it all go down. They saw us on TV. So yeah, right away we were, we were getting text calls from everybody. That's amazing. Then how quickly after that were you escorted out of the right field pavilion? It almost felt like it was like Willy Wonka and the chocolate fact, like you had gotten that golden <laughs> ticket. How quickly after that were you taken out of there? Did you, were people talking to you, congratulating you? What was that moment like? Um, it happened really quick. Um, it seemed like at the moment that, you know, I finally got a turn to like look at my husband and like really soak in the moment. Um, security came up and um, hand signaled me to like go to them. And at first I'm thinking like, oh, I did something wrong. And they were like, no, we, we want to reward you for, for catching the ball. So it was like, oh, okay, cool. So they were like, oh, follow us. Um, and then that's when you see me getting escorted out of there. Um, they took us down to uh, right next to the bullpen, like the gate to go in there. Um, that's where they had us. Um, but at that point, um, they didn't allow my husband or the friend that we were with to go with me. Um, they said that they had to stay out. So my husband didn't get to hear what it is that they were offer, offering me to trade or anything like that. Interesting. So did you kind of request to maybe consult with your husband and before you kind of negotiated what you were going to get in exchange for the ball? Did you know in that moment you were going to give it to Shohei Otani and give him back the ball in exchange for some items or whatever it may be? But did you try to try to make it clear you want to kind of talk to your husband at that point? Um, no. So what happened is... There was like a, a rope that was kind of sec sectioned off that area. So uh, the public wasn't able to go on that side. And so they made him stop at those ropes. And they were like, no, you can't follow her. And then that's when the, the security that was leading me was like, I'm not sure if you realize what it is that you have in your hand, but you have um, Otani's first home run ball as a Dodger. Um, and it would really mean a lot to him if, if you would give the ball back because it means that much to him. So then I asked, I'm like, well, you know, I would really want to keep it. It would it would be really cool, you know, to keep this. But I would just want to know if maybe he would sign it for me. And they were like, no, if if you're going to keep it, he's not he's not willing to sign for it. And we, we won't authenticate it for you. So at that moment, them telling me that that's kind of when I was like, OK, well, how much is this ball really worth if it's not going to be authenticated and he's not signing it? 
So then that's when I asked, okay, well, what what is he willing to trade me for it? And at first, the what they offered was the two signed baseball caps. And then from there, that's when I was like, okay, well, what else can I get besides just the hats? And then that's when they threw in the his bat and the ball, another ball. Interesting. So they basically presented you with, okay, you're going to get some items, but if you don't take this, we're not going to authenticate this baseball yeah, that, for you, which would <laughs> minimize the value, make it very difficult for you to walk home with that ball and try to get money for it or whatever it may be, right? Yeah, so that's exactly what I thought. That's why I'm like, okay, well, if he, he wants to trade, what is he going to trade me for? So they start with the two hats, and then you say, okay, what a little more, and then they throw in a bat, and they throw in an autographed baseball, and ultimately you wanted to meet Shohei Otani, and you made that yeah, request, and yes. then what was their response to that? Um, that it wasn't, it wasn't possible at the time. So that was a real bummer. Yeah, and then you've seen, I mean, there's some auctioneers. I mean, there's a ball that was fouled off by Otani in 2021 going for 15000 There's a ball that that going for 30000 Some auctioneers, they estimate this could go for $100,000. Just kind of what are your thoughts on just kind of hearing that kind of stuff? Um, as far as, like, regrets, I um, honestly don't regret it. Like I said, just the experience of it all, like, as a, as a lifetime Dodger fan, that meant so much. Um I'm, I'm, I'm really grateful with w w what I got. Yeah, I'm, I'm hearing all this stuff. Obviously, you know, it kind of makes you think like, damn, did I really miss out, you know, on those $100,000? But what's done is done. And and you know what? No one can take away that clip of you in the <laughs> right field pavilion, catching the ball, the glorious ball in the sky. No one can take that away from you. And you'll always exactly. go down as the person that caught Shohei Otani's first home run with the Dodgers. But as far as just how everything went down with the security, the authentication, the Shohei Otani, you look at it from that standpoint, kind of what are your thoughts on how they kind of handled it as a whole? As a Dodger fan, I expected maybe a little bit more like warmth uh i should say like from them but it, it was just really fast i needed to make a decision right then and there yeah i'm sure everything was happening so fast right yeah yeah and you know you, it makes you wonder maybe shohei otani does reach out to you maybe he hopefully right? like, sends I'm, you I'm a that, that, would, that would be really nice you know like, just getting to meet him would be really really nice yeah, that's what it's all about, right? I mean, you got to respect that. I mean, we know that I kind of read you guys are lifelong Dodgers fans from Whittier. It's not about the money for you. It's just really no. about kind of sharing that moment with Shohei Otani. It would be nice to have a picture. And, hey, like I'm saying, hey, he sent – Joe Kelly's wife, the Porsche, after he <laughs> gave up number 17. I would not be shocked if you look outside your door one day and you see a nice Porsche. I'm hoping that <laughs> happens for you. Maybe he gives you 100 grand. I don't know if that happens for you, but I just say, want to say I have all the respect in the world for you for how you handle this. Look, at the end of the day, if you can say you want, you showed up to a game. You showed up to the game. You caught Otani's ball. You were seen all around nationally, internationally, everyone's seeing your face everywhere. You've gone viral. <laughs> and three, you still got two hats. You still got a bat, and you still got what you got with Shohei Otani. So I still think at the end of the day, you're winning big on this one, Amber. Thank you. Yeah, but uh, yeah, just kind of hearing this whole process, how it played out, it's it's really interesting. Like I said, I do hope that somehow, some way, do you, how many games you go to per year typically? Um, throughout the season, we go to about five, six games per season. So we, we try to go as often as we can. Um, we don't always sit in the pavilion. Um, I think we, since I've been dating, we've been dating, like maybe we've sat there three times. So it was just the perfect, the perfect seats at the perfect time. Unbelievable. Now, let me ask you a question. Do you have the hats and the bats and the hat and the bat and the, all the stuff nearby? Yeah, I, I have them. And we can see it. Cause I mean, look, I mean, I, I kind of want to see, you know, Shohei Otani's autograph, just kind of how it looks. You get the ball. And it's still, it's the ball that uh, he signed for his, for his home run, for his first Dodgers home yeah. run. He's going to be the first of many. So <laughs> this is the bat. So we got the bat. A little close up right there on the bat. Okay. We got the signature Shohei Otani. There you go. There you go. See, that's amazing right there. You got the bat. Yeah. And then there's the ball. Yeah, there's the ball. All right, he signed as well. You got the ball right there. Okay, that's incredible. I mean, that's <laughs> hey, see what you, that this all this stuff is going to be worth a lot of money. It's already worth right. a lot of money, but it's going to be worth a, even more one day. So don't forget yeah. that. And then the hats that he also you got the hat right there. You got two hats. Yeah. You got one for you, one for your husband. So 
Yeah. You gotta love it. You gotta love it. Well, Amber, thank you so much. For joining us here on Dodgers dugout here, Dodgers nation. Congratulations. I know it's been an absolute whirlwind for you, everything that's gone down, but Hey, at the end of the day, you'll always go down in history as the person that caught Shoei Otani's first <laughs> Dodgers home run. You should be very, very proud of that. I know it's gotta be kind of crazy what you've been uh, kind of going through and everything like that, but yeah. what, are, what are people hating on just that? Like you didn't ask for more or whatever. Yeah, or that, you know, I didn't keep it. They're like, they're calling me dumb, you know, for because some people are saying that, you know, it's worth close to $100,000. But like I said, at the end of the day, like it was me who caught it and the experience on its own as a Dodger fan, that means a lot. Um, and I, I'm grateful, I'm grateful for it? what I got. Were you ever close to keeping it? Like, did it ever cross your mind? I was, like, hey, let's I get was the heck really out of here. debating. They gave me about five minutes to like make up my mind. And I, I was really like, okay, if I keep it, but the whole not it not being signed and then refusing to authenticate it for me. Like that's kind of what really like leaned me towards. Okay. Well, what, what are they willing to give me? Yeah. That's the part that really kind of boggles my mind, that situation, because I mean, to not authenticate, that really puts you in a tough spot and you got to make a quick decision right there. But yeah, at the end of the day, I think I handled it. Well, I mean, like I said, it's gotta be pretty wild to see your face everywhere. I mean, think about this, the whole entire country of Japan, 112 million people know who you are today. I mean, when you think about that, they've seen you catch this ball. So yeah, once again, congratulations. And uh, yeah, keep uh, rooting for your boys in blue. I hope, like I said, I hope that Otani sends you a Porsche. I hope that you go to a game and he meets you. I still think that's on the table. I'm just throwing that out there. I really hope so. You know, I, I hope they reach out, but if not, then at the end of the day, I'm grateful. It's still go Dodgers, right? Yes. Absolutely. Oh, All right. Yeah. Thanks a lot, Amber. And uh, have a great rest of your night. You too. Thank you.